I'm not trying to replicate biological systems. I'm interested in their function. When I watch the cheetah run, I can see a lot of details. I can see the muscle getting tense, and then uh, at the end of the stroke, you can see the paws flicking and then dirt flying. And I can see uh, energy exploding from this biological machine. That's really fascinating. We can study why the cheetah is the fastest land animal, and we can extract the design principles. Those principles we can actually implement in robotics. Here at MIT, we aim to achieve a fast, agile, and energy-efficient robotic cheetah that can be used in the field. My first thought is to minimize the leg inertia by shifting masses uh, close to the body. This will help increase the leg speed and uh, minimize the impact losses. For the MIT cheetah, we developed a new actuation paradigm that allows high forces and programmable compliance at the same time. This was possible by going back to fundamentals. We studied the geometric principles of electric motors and redesigned them for our specific needs. This actuation technology allowed the robot to reach high speed and energy efficiency similar to animals. I was very fascinated by the gecko hands. Their skin evolved to grow nanoscale hairs, which are very complex and but stick almost anywhere. But interestingly, gecko hair sticks only one direction but not the other direction. That was the principle uh, in developing a robot that can climb up the wall. I, I used to joke like it's not fair, you know, some animal has way more features than others. Gecko is one of them. One at one the hip, one at the knee. But this one is a little more, little more complex, so we need to do some some math. Uh, I grew up in Seoul in Korea, South Korea. I was a normal kid except that I really loved to build stuff. And uh, I still remember when I was 11, I got the first hand electric drill uh, as a tool so I can drill a hole. Before I had to carve with the uh, scissors and knife, cut my fingers and all the time. And then that's the magic moment. Wow, I can drill a hole with the, with the tool. When I came to United States to study, I was very interested in product design. And I found this biomimetics uh, lab that, uh, that does study on cockroach running. And then they build uh, cockroaches by running robot. At that time, I wasn't uh, super intrigued because it looks like a little toy running around. And then uh, I got to understand how it is actually, it was designed, and then how it's strongly related to the inspiration from uh, how cockroach runs, and then they built upon it. So once I understand those principles, I got completely uh, bought by this bio-inspired design uh, field. The reason why I'm interested in locomotion uh, is that's one of the uh, missing technology at this point. We, our computer is getting better, we have a lot of sensors available, but we still don't have a capability to build a robot that can walk like us and go over obstacles. We can go enter broken power plant like Fukushima and then uh, mitigate the situation. Our interest always is centered on how can we use robots for our life. Thank you.